Why is not a function? Because let's take one situation, the circle x, y. By definition, if you have two different y's at the same x, eh, here y1, here y2, this is not a function, you know. So the definition of the function do not satisfy conics or conics do not satisfy the definition of the, circ of, of, of the function. So they will be named conics. Let's begin with the simplest one, with the parabola. First of all, we, we can write mathematically what is a parabola or what is a circle or what is a hyperbola if we know the definition. So here, here the language is probably the most important part at the beginning. Let's remind you the, the circle, for example. Let me review how are you preparing. Can you tell me what is a circle? Please, anyone explain what is a circle. Rapid, we have limited time. And you hear me or not? If you cannot explain what is a circle, you cannot write the equation of a circle. Circle, what is a circle? The circle is a line. It's a line on the plane. All points are equidistant to this center. So the same distance every time. So it's a line on the plane whose points are equidistant to one point called center. If this point, anyone arbitrary, x comma y, and this is the center h comma k, now you can write the equation of the circle because the equation of the circle will be given by the distance, which is the radius, the radius between, between h comma k and x comma y. That will be, and you know that you can write the equation of the distance between two points using Pythagorean. So the distance, which is the radius squared, is equal to x2, considering that this is x2, y2, considering that this is x1, y1, is equal to x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. And now replace. For the x2 you have x, for the x1 you have h. x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to the radius square, that's the equation of the circle that is supposed that you know very well from previous, previous lectures, recorded lectures. Remember now, it's okay or not? Okay, now let's check the parabola, what we wanted to do previously. So, let's think about, base it on, on what we saw a couple of minutes ago look into the animation. 
So a parabola is the set of points in a plane that are equidistant from a fixed point called focus and a fixed line called the directrix. points are our points are 0 comma p x comma y and here x comma minus p This distance is equal to this distance. By definition, we have here axis x, we have here axis y. We have a parabola, approximately by this way, with the precision that I can work on the board. We have here 0, p, here x, y, here x, minus p. On the first case that this is x1 and this is x2. So we have x1 minus x2 squared plus exactly will be y1 y2 so plus y2 minus y1 squared. That's the equation of the distance of the distance between 0 comma p and x comma y which is equal to one more time square root now we can consider that this is x2 and this is x1 or vice versa we can consider now for example this will be x1 comma y1 and this will be x2 comma y2 I am re-repeating because, as I told you before, no, no interaction. So I am not sure that you are catching everything I am explaining. And now will be x, x2, now will be x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square. Let's replace the values we have. Here we have 0 and x. So in this case we have from 2 to 1, not from 1 to 2. It's the same, because when you square, if you got negative value, it will be also positive. It's the same, but let's use the same notation. So we have here x minus 0 square plus y minus p y minus p square square root equals to now let's go to the second point here x2 will be the value of the x so this is x minus the second point has the same x 
So x minus x, exactly the same, squared, which is 0, plus y, in this case, will be y minus minus p, plus p squared. Working with rigor will be minus p minus 1. Resulting that we have x squared plus, now solve here, y2 minus 2 yp plus p2 equals to 0 and here y2 plus 2 yp plus p2 and cancel, let me use different color we can cancel y y and we get we can cancel p we can cancel p squared p squared and we get x squared equals to moving negative to that side will be positive minus 2 plus 2 plus 2 will be plus 4 y This is the equation of the parabola. The equation of the parabola, in some cases, we write it considering that the constant A is equal to 1 over 4P. 4P. So, if using this notation, I can rewrite that y is equal to x squared divided by 4p coming from here. Finally, we have y equals to ax squared, which is the final equation of the parabola. As you can see, if A, if A is positive, the parabola opens up. So the parabola opens up for A positive, A greater than zero, which I wanted to show from the beginning, but I couldn't, and now we can visualize. If A, if A is negative, so the parabola will be located by this way, and the, the, the directories will be located in that way. Example number one on the notebook. You have the notebook probably in front of you. Example number one. Find the focus and directories of the parabola y2 plus ax equals to zero and sketch the graph so y2 e no y2 let me see plus ax equals to zero so <laughs> look we develop it we develop it y equals to ax and now I am giving you y squared and x. What happened? What happened is the question. What, what happened is that I can perform exactly the same operation, exactly the same operation, considering that the parabola goes by this way or by this way. And in this case, in this case, I will get x equals to a y squared. So the definition will be different. 
So exactly the same y2, y2 will minus 8x. Because y2, because y2, it will be always positive. So if I have minus y or plus y, minus y or when squaring will be positive value. So in this case, in this case, we can we can consider that really y is equal to a x squared to a x squared. What we have to replace the correct values or y squared equals to four p x. We need space. So if if four P if four P is equal to minus a this is because p is equal to negative 2 so in our graph the focus f is in minus 2 remember now we are working horizontally here will be the parabola uh, the directories will be here in two and we can evaluate any any point what in this case, for this question, it's okay only to have the representation. Any question? If no question, let's do one more example. One more example. Find the focus and directrix of the parabola x squared minus 12 y equals to 0 I am copying from the notebook so directly we can solve x squared equals to 12 y so 12 is 4p so 4p equals to 12 p equals to 3 but in this case we have the configuration x2 and y so we have two identical x with positive and negative so obviously it opens up, up because P is positive because here we have P one two three we finish it's very easy the directories will be in minus three Uh, for any point, for any point, we can perform an evaluation if we want in order to have exact graph. For example, if considering that x is equal to any point, let's consider 3. 3 squared equals to 12 y. We 
we have here y equals to 9 over 12 equals to 3 over 4. So the reality is when x is equal to 3, 1, 2, 3, 3 quarter somewhere here. The reality is, so we have one quarter, two quarter, three quarter, three comma, three quarter. The reality is that our parabola goes a little compressed by this way. By this way, we have exact graph. Do you understand what I am explaining? It's okay. Can we move to the next topic? The ellipse. It's clear. Let's go now with the ellipse. <coughs> I hope that you have in front of you the, the notebook. We are working with now with the ellipse. On page, hey, this is topic 6.2. <clears throat> On page 178. That one. So, repeating what we have on the notebook, let's first think about the definition of the ellipse. So, we need, we need the definition. If we do not have the definition, we cannot write the equation. The language is, is your, your software. Otherwise, you cannot solve the problem, even if you have a good hardware. Because no software. What is an ellipse? Something like this. Something like this. Full symmetry with the precision that I can work on the board. The ellipse has two focus. Here and here. And sometimes we represent the focus using the letter C. So this will be in minus C comma zero. And this one will be in C comma zero. Why is zero? We will call this point, for example, A, that distance, and that distance, for example, minus A, that distance B, that distance minus B, for example. So, that point, that point is zero comma b. That point is zero comma minus b. This is a comma zero. This is minus a comma zero. And we have here minus c comma zero and plus c comma zero. And now let's see one point somewhere here x comma y. Uh, we will analyze, we will analyze the distance from this point to any arbitrary 
point and from this point to that point. We will analyze. Let's think about the definition. An ellipse is the set of points in a plane, the sum of whose distance from two fixed points is a constant. Is a constant. So, The sum of the distance from two fixed points, this one from, from minus c comma zero to x comma y plus from x comma y to c comma zero is a constant is a constant so logically logically if i use for example this point this point so the distance from here to here and from here to here, look, if I use this point x comma y, this distance plus this distance, one time, is that the first part? No, this is the first part. Here. And that part is the second part. So it's the total from minus a to a. a plus a is equal to 2a. So it satisfies perfectly the definition of the circle, uh, of the ellipse, sorry. So let's write now the equation of the distance and we will get we will get the equation of the ellipse. So for the first for the first let's write x x minus six. So x minus minus c plus c squared plus y minus zero square. We have that distance. Square root, the distance. Plus the second part, plus. So one more time, square root. And now we have x minus c x minus c squared plus y minus zero. One more time, y minus zero squared. Let me see if you can see the notation. Yes, you can see. Let's solve this rational equation. Equals to two a. Let's solve rational equation. I need to change the marker one more time. So let's move one of the radical to the right side. X plus C squared plus Y minus zero squared. 
equals to 2a minus square root of x minus c squared plus y minus 0 squared. And let's solve the radical equation using the method you learned on chapter 2, on chapter 1, on chapter 1. So, square root, square root, to the second power in both parts, square, square. Now, now we have x plus c square plus y minus 0 square equals to 4a square 4a square minus 2 times the first times the second minus 4a times the square root of x minus c square plus y minus 0 square plus the square of the square root, which is x minus c square plus y minus 0 square, all of them to the second power. All of them to the second power. Let me move a little to the right because you cannot see well that part. Difficult to do that, better I will rewrite plus plus square root of x minus c square plus y minus zero square, all of them to the second power. x squared, let's write here better, let me see if you can see, yes you can see, x squared plus 2cx plus c squared plus y squared, we finish with the left part, equals to 4a squared minus 4a square root of x minus c square plus y2. Let's write directly y2. Plus, now we have x minus c square, so we can expand x2 minus 2x c minus c2 plus y2. This is the resulting equation. Let's continue. Let's continue. Now we can perform some cancellation. x2, x2. So c2 positive c2 here is a mistake c2 is positive yeah, the square of the second c2 c2 y2 y2 so resulting that we have plus 2 and minus 2 will be 4, 4xc, 
So we finish with this element and with this element. And now only remain these two elements equals to 4a2 minus 4a. Correct. So square and square and we get x minus c over x2 c2 minus 2 times x c a2 plus a to the 4 equals to a square times we are squaring both part times x minus c square plus y2. Now we have one more time special product rule. x squared c2 minus 2xca2 plus a4 equals to a2 times x2 minus 2xc minus 2xc plus c2 plus y2. So we are approaching our final result. We are approaching our final result. Well, in order to get final result, we can replace a variable minus b2 equals to c2, which satisfy the geometric minus c2 will be equals to b2. So we have these two possible combinations. And now let's see what we have here. We have here x squared c2 minus 2xc a2 plus a to the 4 equals to a2 x squared minus 2a2 x c plus a2 c2 plus a2 y2. That's that's practically the end. Hmm? Let me review for the case that I have a mistake. x squared plus a a a2 a2 here is a mistake a2 a2 y2 equals to a2 times b2 oh good 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 now we can divide everything by by a2 b2 by a2 b2 by a2 b2 cancel 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 and we get x square over a2 plus y square over b2 equals to 1 which is the final result, which is the simplest form to express the equation of the ellipse. I know these deductions is, is a little boring. On the notebook is very clear explained. 
it's very clear explaining. You can follow it step by step if anything was difficult. So step by step. A little different than what I did because I didn't want to copy. I, I wanted to, to develop in front of you. Uh, in some cases, on the notebook, what I have on the right here goes to the left. But it's the same. So, as you can see, this equation was developed for, for this type of ellipse. Minus A, A, B, minus B. For this type of ellipse, approximately, with the precision that I can work on the board. What happened if we have another type of ellipse? What happened if we if we have something like this? the larger axis goes under the y variable, we have this. So we have this check. So there is two methods. There is two methods. Consider the definition that this will be a minus a here b and minus b is one method using the definition so for the green color we will have x divided by b2 plus y2 divided by a2 equals to 1. Or simple, or simple, you can, you can pay attention to, to the situation that the number under the variable, the largest one define the position vertical or horizontal of the ellipse. Use the method that you prefer. Let's do a couple of examples using two different ellipses. So, let me put here the notebook. Sketch the graph of 25 x squared plus. No. Yeah, yeah. Plus. 36 y squared equals to 900. 900. So the first thing we have to do is rewrite this equation on the standard form that we just learned. And it was x2 over a2 plus y2 over b2 equals to 1. Let's write it in a standard form. Dividing by, let me see, 900. 900 is exactly 36 times 25. Ah, we are looping. So, we can divide everything. We can divide everything by 36 times 25, which is 900. But easier 
if, if, if we write in factored form, 36 times 25, 36 times 25, cancel, 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 one here will be. So we have x2 over 36, which is 6 squared, plus y2 over 25, which is 5 squared, equals to 1. So we have the shape larger axis x and shorter axis b. Our ellipse will be will be six one two three four five six one two three four five minus six one two three four five one two three four minus five um, and you know that c2 c2 because this was the replacement we used before to to get the final equation is equal to a2 minus b2 so c c is equal to square root of a2 say 6 minus 25 so as you can see c will be plus minus square root of 11 correct c is equal to square root of 11 plus minus plus minus so square root of 11 3 times 3 9 4 times 4 is 16 so approximately 3 points or something check in your calculator and let me know so somewhere here square root of 11 positive somewhere here minus square root of 11. These are the focus and the ellipse goes by this way, by this way, by this way. We finish. Easy example. Sorry that my ellipse is not perfect with the precision that I can work on the board. Any question? 49x squared plus 16y squared equals to 784. 784, which one more time result equals to 49 times 16. If you multiply these two numbers, you will get 784. So uh, these are prepared by myself examples to, to facilitate the understanding of the subject. So now we perform the division one more time, divided by 49 times 16. 49 times 16, we cancel the 16, we cancel the 49, and we cancel 784, resulting that we have x squared divided by 16, which is 4 squared, plus y2 divided by 7 squared, which is 49, equals to 1. As you can see, now the largest axis is on the y. So we have something like this, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 
one, two, three, four. So minus four, four minus seven, and seven. Six times six is thirty-six. Ruby five something. Here the focus. Here the focus. Positive, negative. So now our ellipse is that one. So please, any question? Is is easy for you or now it's easy, yeah? At the beginning was difficult, but now you got the the idea or the problems and now you can do everything. I will not torture you with all these demonstrations. I will pass a little faster for some of the next demonstration because really, let me see, because really they are very well explained on the notebook and you can you can check step by step. If no question, let's go to the hyperbole. As we saw at the beginning of the class, if we could the cons upper and lower or right and left depending how the cones are located so we will get some shape approximately approximately by this way hmm? approximately by this way let me use some directories, some axes to facilitate the, the learning. The learning. So we will have here, mm, let me see where, here. A, here, minus A. So, We will have here B, here minus B. Um, because we will use the same replacement, the same replacement, so C will be located somewhere here, which is A squared minus plus. Should be plus. Now we will review. Mm. Uh, here will be oblique asymptote, a line y equals b over a. Times x. Times x is the equation. Is the equation. For that one will be y equals minus b over over a. Also x. So the definition. Let's read the definition. Uh, hyperbola is the set of all points x comma y all points x comma y located in some place of the red color line in a plane so the difference of those distance from two fixed points f1 and f2 the fossey focus focus fossey two is a constant one more time, we will calculate 2a based on the previous deduction. 
exactly the same, exactly the same formulation as we did before, exactly the same. With the only difference that now from P, for example, if I locate here the P, and these are the distance. So the distance between, from that one you get positive. If you subtract that one from the other, you get negative. And when, when developing it, you get I will not torture you with, with this development. I know it is boring, and you can see it on the notebook. X2, even it's not necessary. If you develop one of them, you are OK. How it is directed. So this could be negative, and this one positive. Or negative and positive. So, so you can have the second option, y2 over a2 minus x2 over b2 equals to 1. This is for this shape. This is for this shape. And remember that these two equations, these two equations are the information, the information you need. Uh, in these both cases, C2 will be, no, before we took the, the difference but now we are subtracting, so minus becomes plus A2 plus B2. So using these three equations, we can graph any hyperbola. Let's do a couple of examples, and we will count that today's lecture is only informative lecture. As, as you can see, I, I, am, I am not teaching rigorously. This is like a conversation to introduce the, the concepts of these conics, of these different shapes. Next class, we will work rigorously using transformation using different properties of these chips. Let's do a couple of examples. Any question, please? No question? No question. Square Twenty-five x squared minus thirty-six y squared equals to nine hundred. All the same, nine hundred. The same numbers we used before. Everything is prepared to facilitate our work. So we proceed by dividing one more time by twenty-five times thirty-six and we get x2 divided by 36 minus y2 divided by 25 equals to 1. As you can see, on y's, on y's we have shorter number. Let me see. Wise we have under, otherwise we have shorter number. So the shape will be like this. Uh, as you can visualize, that's the, the trick. 
That's the truth. This is the, the X, arbitrary X. Ah, this will be for this arbitrary X, the, the Y's. So the, the Y's are shorter. Y's, X. So you can visualize, look into the equation, what is happening. And now let's solve. Now let's solve. So based on the equation we developed before, x2 over a2 minus y2 over b2 equals to 1, we can visualize that we have C2 equals to A2 plus B2. A2 plus B2. So C will be square root of 36 plus 25, which is 61, correct? Square root of 61. Uh, square root of 61, 8 times A is 64, so 7.8, something like this. C is equal to plus minus 7.8. Let's write approximately. So we have everything to do the graph. Look. We have somewhere here one, two, three, four, five, six. In X. One, two, three, four, five, six. Minus six. numbers are not exactly, sorry. Let's repeat. Because if we do not have good graph, difficult to, to visualize. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, minus six. Six. Now, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So, B over A. We have an asymptote here. focus is located in 7.8, 7, somewhere here, in 7.8, 7, 7.8, so the shape passing through A will be something like this. We finish. We finish is really easy, simple. Any question? No question. Okay. 
I think that we can stop the class today.